Hello and welcome to my programming channel. My name is Ryan and today we'll be looking at a little bit more advanced user input program. It kind of piggybacks off of the last video. Uh, links on screen if you want to check that one out. In this one we take a look at a few different things that the user can input. Uh, this deals with a, a loan that the user gets. X amount of years, X amount of money, and X interest rate. And they can enter all that in and so there's a little bit more math involved and a few different things that we can take a look at. But uh, all right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so of course we're gonna first wanna open up Eclipse. All right, so now that Eclipse is loaded, let's just go ahead and make a new Java project. And we're just gonna call this one Compute Loan. Go ahead and click Finish right click on compute loan and we're gonna make a new class we can go ahead and call that new class compute loan as well and I'm gonna click public static void main we will need that okay great now we can start we don't need this comment alright so now we can go ahead and begin alright so with these more complex programs it's good to write out what you want to accomplish in comments and so let's let's first off uh, just start off by importing now before we get to the comments we we already know that we'll need to import the scanner class okay so now that we have that we're good so let's right here we'll just say we need to create a scanner object and so for this program, we'll need to get the annual interest rate, uh, calculate the monthly interest rate, get the number of years that the loan is for, and the amount the loan is for as well. Uh, we'll also have to um, calculate the monthly payment and the total payment, and then print all of that out. Okay, so the first thing, let's, let's ask ask user for uh, the annual interest rate okay and then we need to get that interest rate and right here oh inter interest all right and right here we will cal calculate the oh man <laughs> calculate the monthly interest rate all right then we will need to ask so we'll ask user for sorry for my terrible typing right now interest rate okay and then we'll need to ask the user for the amount of years that the loan is worth amount of years and we will get that number okay and now we need to ask the user for the loan amount and we will need to get that number as well Okay, now on to some calculations that we'll have to be doing. We will have to calculate the monthly payment. And we will also have to calculate the total payment. So total payment And last but not least, we will print out the monthly payment and the total payment. All right, so let's get started on this. So let's create a scanner object. So just like the last video, whoops, scanner input equals new scanner 
system dot in. All right. So there is our scanner object that we will use to get the user input. And now, now let's ask for the user to enter the amount, uh, the annual interest rate. So system dot out dot print dot print. We'll say enter the annual interest rate. And we'll give an example. It's always good to give the user an example of how you want it to be entered. 725. Okay. Go ahead and do that like so. All right. So now that we ask them for the annual interest rate, let's get that number. So we'll go ahead and put it into a double. And we'll go ahead and call our variable annual interest rate. And we'll have that equal to input dot next double. Okay. So now to calculate the monthly interest rate, we will be able to use the variable that we just got from the user, the annual interest rate, to help us achieve this. So we'll make a new variable and we'll call it monthly interest rate is equal to the variable the number that we just got oh oh goodness okay sorry just copy that and paste that it's equal to the annual interest rate divided by 1200 okay so that's how we're going to get the monthly interest rate from the user input that we just got and we'll be able to calculate that because we'll use that later on in the program Okay, so ask the user for the amount of years that the loan is worth. So we'll go ahead and do another, I'll go ahead and copy this, system.out.print, make a new one, and we'll say, enter the number of years as an integer. And we'll do another example, e.g., Okay, and now let's get that number that they just entered. So we'll do int since we asked the user for an integer. We'll do number of years as our variable is equal to input dot next int. All right, very good. And now we finally just need to ask the user for the loan amount. Okay. So we will say enter the loan amount. We will give another example. Let's just say a hundred and twenty thousand. Okay, now let's get that amount that they entered. And we will define this as a double. And we will just call it loan amount is equal to input dot next double. Okay. All right. So now, now we pretty much have all the information that we need from the user to be able to start calculating uh, the monthly payments and the total payments that the user is curious about as to why they, you know, they entered this information. Now they want to get something out of it. So we will give them that. So let's make a double, and we'll call it 
monthly payment. And we'll have it equal to the loan amount multiplied by the monthly interest rate divided by one divided by math dot pow one plus the monthly interest rate Okay, so this should be the equation to calculate the monthly payment. Now let's calculate the total payment. So we'll just do a double and we'll go total payment is equal to monthly payment. times the number of years times 12 <laughs> okay now we just need to print out the monthly payment and the total payment alright so let's go ahead and grab one of these Control V we'll go print Lin and then we'll say The monthly payment is, we will put a dollar sign plus int. So we're going to be getting an integer monthly payment times 100. divided by 100.0. We'll go ahead and finish that off. Oh, we don't need that. And then we will need another one right here. Okay, all right. And then, so printing out the total payment, we'll go ahead and grab this. The total payment is dollar sign plus we can go ahead and just grab this full thing, go ahead and paste it there. Don't need that. And we'll go ahead and change this to total payment. All right, save it and let's run it and see what we get. Okay, so enter the annual interest rate. So let's say 3.56. Uh, enter the number of years as an integer, let's say 10 years. And enter the loan amount, let's say uh, 50,000. Okay, so the monthly payment is $495. And the total payment is 59500 All right, well, that seems about right. Um, I know this uh, program was, there, had, there was a, a lot more to it. And I know I made a lot of typing mistakes, but I hope you're able to bear with me. And uh, this code will be posted in a document along with the video. So if you guys want to check out that, that's cool. And um, 
again, thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.